What's up YouTube, it's Jake from JP Train Cards here and today I'm bringing you guys my World Legacy deck profile. So the World Legacy archetype was introduced in Code of the Duelist and basically some kind of overview is that there are three main World Legacy monsters and then they have upgraded Link versions of them. So pretty cool, um, pretty cool idea to incorporate normal, normal monsters um, and not just effect monsters. So I want to ask you guys to please like the video, please comment, please share, and please subscribe to the channel. So let's get started. All right, guys, for the monsters. So first, for the normal monsters that end up to be links, link monsters are beckoned by the world by the world chalice. Three of those, three crowned by the world chalice and then finally three chosen by the world chalice so run three of each of those so those are your only uh normal monsters in the deck then you're going to run two lee world chalice fairy um normal or special summon add one world chalice from your deck to hand so searches world chalice monsters um, actually, it basically just searches those nine uh, normal monsters, and then if this card is in the graveyard, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard and add this back to your hand. Next, you're going to run two of Guard Dragon. So Guard Dragon's effect is uh, when a card effect is activated that targets your linked monster, you can use this quick effect. Discard this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, negate the activation, and destroy that card. So that's awesome. And then, if this card's in the graveyard, you can banish it and target one normal monster, so any of those nine, in your graveyard and bring it, um, summon it in defense mode. So, um, ideally, you'd run around three of each of those, but I only have two, so we're going to make do with it. And next, we're going to run three... World Legacy, World Chalice. So, uh, World Legacy, World Chalice's effect is that if a monster is special summoned from the extra deck, you can tribute this card and destroy the special summoned monster. So this is great using it on your opponent. And then, if this card leaves the field, you can special summon two World Chalice cards from your deck. So by using its first effect, you can use the second effect right after. Um, that when you basically stop their special summon tribute uh then bring two world chalice monsters from your deck to the uh to the field and then if this card is in the graveyard you can banish it and add one world chalice card from your deck to your hand so that could be spell trap uh, or even monster which is awesome and uh, so last the last world legacy support card monster card is the new World Legacy World Shield from Extreme Force. So, and it says a 3,000 defense, which which is crazy. Um, so its effect is that this card is unaffected by activated effects from any monster special summon from the extra deck, which is awesome. Your opponent cannot just target your World Legacy cards in this card's column um, with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Um, during the standby phase, if this card is in your graveyard, pay a thousand life points, special summon this card, then your opponent can special summon one card from their hand or graveyard. Um, so basically, this card uses the whole column system, uh, which is pretty cool and, uh, pretty neat idea from Yu-Gi-Oh! to, um, I guess just introduce more, um, and more unique plays to the game, which is pretty cool. And finally, the last monster is hand trap ghost ogre and snow rabbit so during either player's turn when a monster on the field to activate its effect um you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and destroy that card so pretty awesome just say i'm normal hand trap so that is it for the monsters guys and now let's get on to the spells all right guys for the spells first for your field spell World Legacy Discover. Discovery. World Legacy Discovery. Sorry. Uh, World Chalice Monsters gain 300 attack and defense. 
And then if a world legacy monster leaves the field, special summon one world chalice from your graveyard. So that's in defense mode. So that's pretty awesome. If one leaves, you bring one back. Uh, next, three world legacies heart. Target two world chalice monsters in your graveyard with different names. Add them to your hand. And then if you're linked, link if you're linked, link monster would be destroyed by battle. Banish this card from your graveyard instead. So that it adds also some protection. Next, you're going to run three, and this is the final World Legacy uh, spell card. Three cl of Clash. So banish one face up monster you control into until the end phase. Then target one face up monster your opponent controls. That target loses um, attack and defense equal to the banished monster. So um, kind of a little bit of a shield almost that you can make your opponent lose some attack points. Next, since you're running normal monsters in the deck, uh, I put two of Heart of the Underdog. So during your draw phase, so if you draw a normal monster, you can reveal it and draw one more card. So essentially, um, you can draw two cards, and it's not a huge deal, personally, if they know that you have a World Chalice in your hand. I mean, you're running, it's a World Chalice deck, you know, so... An extra draw is always nice. One Cosmic Cyclone, pay a thousand, destroy, um, or excuse me, banish one Spell Trap on the field, which is awesome. One Pot of Desires, banish ten, then draw two. You're running basically three copies of every single card in the deck, so it's not going to hurt to banish ten of them. And then one Soul Charge, pretty self explanatory. Um, bring monsters back from the graveyard, and then um, pay that pay a thousand life point, points for each one. So that's it for the spells, and let's move on to the traps. All right, guys. First off, for the traps, we run three World Legacy Landmark. So Landmark is you can banish uh, one World Legacy from your hand or field, and then special summon two cards from your graveyard. So that's awesome to banish uh, banish cards and then uh, special summon to uh, monsters. So, great way to bring cards back. And then the last World Legacy Trap card we're going to run is Trap Globe. So, shuffle into the deck five of your World Legacy cards with different names that are banished in your hand or graveyard. Banished that are banished in your hand or graveyard and are face up on the field except World Legacy Trap Globe. Then draw two cards. So this is awesome because since you're playing Pot of Desires, you're already banishing ten cards. So um, you're basic, almost guaranteed to have five World Legacy cards with different names, uh, which is awesome. Then you're going to run one Heavy Storm Duster, uh, target two spell trap, spell trap on the field, destroy them. And then, finally, the last trap is one, back to the front, target one monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense. Pretty self-explanatory. So that's it for the spell, or spells and traps, excuse me. Um, now let's get to the link monsters. Alright guys, so we are only playing link monsters for the extra deck. And for the first three they are not World Chalice specific, so I want to just run through those real quick. Proxy, Decode, Firewall, pretty self-explanatory. You run those in almost every deck now. Um, so now for the World Chalice stuff. First, we have one of Imduk. Um, basically, it's one normal monster, so good thing you're running nine of them. Uh, during your main phase, you can normal summon one World Chalice monster in addition to your normal summon. So basically, two normal summons this turn. And then at the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster um, that, that points to, so the link arrow pointing up, um, you can destroy that monster. And then if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, special summon one World Chalice monster from your hand. So all the World Chalice. Um, uh, link monsters have that last effect where if they leave the field or field to the graveyard, special summon one world chalice from your hand. Pretty sweet. Um, next, you're going to run 
two of Ib World Chalice Priestess. Priestess, so two monsters with different types and attributes. So basically just not, realistically not the same monster, but that's okay. Uh, this link card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Your opponent card, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. And then this is the really nice effect that if a monster, um, if a monster card, if a monster this card points to would be destroyed by card effect, you can send this card to the grave instead. Um, it's it's great. It's just like a nice if you have a really powerful monster here next to it and you don't want to destroy, you can just sack off um sack off Ib and then obviously special summon one world legacy from your hand if it's sent from the field to the graveyard. Another good effect. Uh next you're gonna run two Aram, the World Chalice Blade Master, so he requires two uh world legacy world chalice monsters and then he gains 300 attack for each world legacy monster in your graveyard with a different name so that's cool he can power up pretty hard uh you contribute one world chalice this monster points this card points to and target one um other monster in your graveyard special summon it to the zone this card points to so tributing um a lower level world a lower level card or lower level world chalice card and then getting back a new one instead. Um, what else? What else? What else? Special summon it to your... Yep. And then you can only use this once. And then again, um, tr if this is sent from the field to the graveyard, special summon one world chalice from your hand. And finally, the quote-unquote boss monster of world chalice. Excuse me. Is Ningrisu, the world chalice warrior. So... Ningrisu, you need two Link Monsters, so, um, two Link Monsters, and then, um, yeah, so Link 3, um, if this card is Link Summoned, so draw, so when it's summoned, you draw cards equal to the number of World Legacy, Chal World Chalice Monsters this card points to, so, um, either, you it, basically, if it's on this, these two, either of these two, then you're you're golden. You can draw some more cards. Um, you can only use the effect of um, him once per turn. And once per turn, you can send one card from each player's field to the graveyard. So that's awesome. Um, yeah. So that's that's the real reason I personally think that um, why he's like a seven eight dollar card is because of that. that you can send one card. Um, one card from each player's field to the graveyard once per turn. That's a pretty amazing effect. And he's a 2,500 attack. Um, so yeah. So that's it for all the extra deck monsters. So that is it, guys. That's my World Legacy deck profile. Um, so yeah. So if you guys like the video, please like, please comment, and please subscribe Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, greatly help out if you guys want to see more deck profiles, more pack openings, all that good stuff. So, yep, yeah, um, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and Jake is out.